Now let us derive an, an expression for the effective capacitance of series formulation of capacitors. Suppose we have three capacitors, let's say, let's draw like this. We have three different capacitors connected in series with a cell of potential V. Let V be the potential drop across the cell. Let this be the capacitor with capacitance C1. The capacitance of this one is C2 and this one is C3. We know this is the positive terminal of the cell and this one is the negative terminal. So this positive terminal is connected to the display, this display. So in this side it becomes positive. Let's draw two units of positive charge. So by induction this plate get the other plate of C1 will get negative charge. Similarly due to this negative charge this plate becomes positive charge. And drawing like this we get charge distribution like this. Here you can see that this is this is called the series combination of capacitors because negative plate is connected to the positive plate of the adjacent capacitor. So this kind of co combination of capacitors is called the series combination. Also you can see that in all these capacitors we all they have two units of positive charge which means in series combination charge remains the same. You don't have to write Q1, Q2, Q3 because all the charges remains the same. And you know potential V will be by the definition potential is equal to charge by capacitance and you know charge remains the same and capacitance different which means the potential drop across each capacitors is different. So let's say V1 is the potential drop across the first capacitor that is V1 be the potential drop across the first capacitor, V2 be that across the second one and V3 be that across the third capacitor. And from the law of conservation of energy, we have potential is equal to charge per, uh, sorry, work done per unit charge. So by conservation of energy, energy in the sense we know potential is equal to work done by charge that is energy by charge. So basically potential is a, is, is, is the energy, energy per unit charge. So by conservation of energy we have potential V across the potential drop across the cell equal to sum of the potential drop across the individual capacitors. So V1 plus V2 plus V3. So V will be, you know, V1 is equal to Q by C1. We, we know the relation potential equal to charge by capacitance. So Q by C1 plus V2 is equal to Q by C2 plus V3 is equal to Q by C3. Or you can write this as V equal to, you can take the Q term outside. So it will be 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. Let's call this as equation number 1. Now if you replace these three capacitors with a single capacitor, let's draw like this and to connect it, it with the same cell that is this cell itself of potential V. Let's call the this capacitance of this single capacitor V CS. S represents for series, capacitance of series combination. So what I'm saying is I'm replacing these three capacitor with a single capacitance so that the effect remains the same. The effect provided by these three capacitors is provided just by this single capacitor. That's what we mean by effective capacitance. And you know, since the cell remains the same, the charge also remains the same, Q. Or let's say two units of positive charge. So from this diagram, you can write
you can write potential V is equal to that is potential V is equal to charge by charge by capacitance here the capacitance is CS let's call that as equation number two from one and two it is clear that the left hand side remains the same so you can equate two and one that is two equal to one implies Q divided by CS equal to Q times 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. So you can cancel this Q so that we have the relation 1 by Cs that is the reciprocal of the effective capa capacitance of the series combination will be 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. Clear.